Hello painter friends, it's Sarah for Chromayati Fine Art and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to execute a perfect sunflower blowout. The colors I'm using are all a yellow base with gold added to them. To achieve this look it's important that you have a light, medium, and darker yellow. And then I also have a copper with some burnt sienna added to it and a dark metallic brown. The consistency for the paint is very thin like a Dutch pour, so it's easy to blow out with a blow dryer. I first started by tracing a round wood base I had for the center of the flower. Make sure to use a ruler when placing this so it's centered correctly on the canvas. I then drew diagonal lines marking where I wanted each petal to be blown out and spaced about every two inches. Make sure for this part to extend the lines through the center of the circle. Then I drew one last line about four inches out from the center of the circle. This will be the farthest out your color paint will go. I'm working on a pretty large canvas here. It's 24 by 30 inches. So you'll have to scale those measurements down or up depending on the size canvas you use. Next, I laid down my white base paint following the furthest edge line. The first color you start with is the brown copper color using your inside circle as a guide. You'll notice I put all my paint in smaller squeezy bottles. I found that this really helps you draw the shapes more accurately. Then I do a ring of the medium yellow. And finish with the largest, thicker ring of the bright yellow. You'll then use the darkest yellow to draw lines where the petal edges will be, using the pre-drawn diagonal lines as a guide. Then I just added a little bit more white paint along the yellow edge to make sure I had a good amount down for the blowout. And now for the fun part. I use my diagonal lines as a guide and I start blowing from the center all the way to the edge of the canvas. This is definitely the best flower blown out I've done to date, so I really didn't have much I wanted to change about it. I just added a little additional swiping here and there. I then just filled in the center with my dark brown color. And hit the whole piece with my blowtorch and let it dry for a couple of days. Once the painting's dry, I redrew my center line to get a perfect circle and filled it in with my dark paint. Next, I like adding a little brush detail to the edge so it looks more like a real flower. I'm just doing small brush strokes with a small paintbrush around the edge. Lastly, I do a larger version of that technique with a copper paint to give the center more detail. And then once that was done, I covered the entire piece in resin for a glass-like finish. And this is the final piece. Adding some gold to the yellow really makes it sparkle when it hits the light. And I love the depth this blowout had in the center where the copper brown and the medium gold met. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'd love to hear in the comments below about your own experiences with flower blowouts. I hope you all have a wonderful week and happy painting.